from not even being able to deliver its current console to shunning it completely for something entirely new. Sony's shocking the world with how it's doing things. And now, we have official details on the PlayStation 6. PlayStation's current console, the PS5, is still in super high demand right now. Because of stock shortages, it's extremely difficult to come by. And when it was first released, scalpers were able to sell it for four to five times the price. Even to this day, it's not the easiest thing to buy right now. Yet, new leaks are already pointing to the fact that we might be seeing a PS6 hit the market. How freaking crazy is that? If that does happen to be true, that'll mean that the PS5 will be the most forgotten console ever. Because so many people are still running their PS4s, and once they hear this news, they might want to hold on to their current consoles so they can buy the PS6 whenever it comes out. All the information that I'm about to talk about in this video was pieced together from comments about Call of Duty, from the documents on Microsoft's attempt acquisition of Activision Blizzard. But before we get into everything, what you need to know is that nothing is known for sure. There's extremely high confidence in this information, but still, nothing is known for sure. But it seems like Sony will be shifting its strategy, because consoles just don't have the same lifespan that they did before. The PS5 is literally just a couple of years into its life cycle. But apparently, Sony engineers have been working hard at the next console as well. Again, this isn't exactly known. but. Considering how long the development time for something like this is, it's likely being worked on. Before this, PlayStation consoles were launched around six to seven years apart. But for now, it seems as if the PS5 might even end up getting a longer lifespan than that. Oh yep, yeah, you thought the PS6 was right around the corner because of the leaks, didn't you? But even then, to this day, it's difficult to come by. So it makes perfect sense that it's going to be released later because fans still need to be able to buy the current console. This longer period does make sense sense when you think about it. Now, the question is, when will it be launched? So after a deep dive into the documents on Microsoft's Activision Blizzard acquisition, it seems that the earliest possible launch time for the PS6 would be late 2027. That's the earliest possible time. Most likely, it'll be launched somewhere around 2028. This is because of Sony's rights to Call of Duty on the PlayStation until 2027. So in the document that I talked about, it's mentioned that Sony would have special access to COD until the next PlayStation is released. So, if the two statements are connected, 2028 is when it's happening. But, there's still one small hiccup with this plan. PlayStation may take longer to release a PS6, chip shortages may not be in the news so much, and the problem is definitely a lot better than how it was in 2021 and early 2022, but it's still there. So, given the current issues with the supply chain and sourcing hardware, especially the semiconductor chip, it's been quite a struggle for PlayStation to keep up with the demand for its current console. Even now, it's not the easiest to buy. So the extremely high demand for the PS5, the high cost of hardware and the shortages, we might even see the PS6 release pushed further into the future. Cause look, the company spent quite a lot of money on its research and development, so they do want to make the most of it. And for them to do that, they're going to have to sell as many PS5s as possible. So the PS6 might be pushed into the future. When and the machinery for it won't be extremely difficult to obtain, unlike now. Plus, there's still the point that the fifth generation of the console is still quite popular, and many people are still trying to get their hands on it. Sony has so far been busy with the release of the PSVR 2 and its launch game, so the sixth generation might not exactly be its biggest priority right now. Look, there's no doubt about the fact that when the PS6 arrives, it's going to be awesome. But till then, the PS5 still needs attention, and it might even need a small hardware update, like a pro model, mid-generation, but I'll talk about this in a while. It's definitely gonna be taller, wider, it's bigger in every dimension, and it's heavier. And I guess it really depends on what underneath your TV looks like, about whether this height difference will matter to you or not, but that height difference is real. If you're putting it underneath something that didn't have enough clearance before, airflow will be even more restricted <laughs> because of the size of this thing. For now, let's talk about all the details of the PS6. Isn't it crazy? Just when you thought you could finally get your hands on the new PS5, people are talking about the PS6 already. So, PS4 lasted for seven years before the PS5 came, and then PS5 was released in 2020, and it seems as if that's going to last seven years too. But like the leaked documents that we're talking about right now, how true are they really? Well, super true, cause what you gotta know is that 
that these documents are being made public due to the UK's Competition and Markets Authority, also known as CMA. And this is happening because of Microsoft's plans to acquire Activision Blizzard, as I mentioned earlier in the video. You'd think some precious corporate secrets like this would be kept in-house, right? This would be a closely guarded secret that Microsoft, of all companies, should know about, since they're Sony's biggest competitors in the console realm. Well, here's how it got out. The document is 22 pages, and on the 8th page of the document, it says, Microsoft had offered to continue making Activision's games available on PlayStation only until 2027. But then there's a document by Sony that reads, By the time SIE launched the next generation of PlayStation, which is likely to occur around Redacted, it will lose access to COD and other Activision titles. Sony's document also mentions how this won't be the best for the company, as it's going to degrade its competitiveness. Because think about it, Call of Duty is extremely, extremely important for the company. And when you take that away, there's little incentive to buy the PlayStation. Plus, this news is horrible for gamers, because what this is going to start is the kind of thing we saw in streaming. Now, PlayStation might get its own studios, then Microsoft will choose its own. And for you to play certain games, you'll need certain consoles. It'll be an end to the one console fits all kind of thing that the industry has seen since like forever. I know, I know. There are still many games right now that are exclusive to certain consoles. That's true, yes. But this isn't Forza or something we're talking about. This is Call of Duty. It's one of the most popular games in the world right now. But that's not the saddest news. The saddest news is Sony is most likely going to abandon the PS5 Pro in favor of the PS6. The biggest reason why the PS5 has been so popular this time around is because of its faster SSD and because of the DualSense controller. The announcement of their DualSense Edge wireless controller, the premium, more expensive version of the DualSense with more options, customizable controls, swappable stick caps, remappable buttons, different control profiles, more adjusting for sensitivity, and a really handy dandy carrying case. Basically, their version of the Xbox Elite controller. It retails for 200 bucks and it's releasing January 26th, 2023. I didn't want to make this a PS5 versus a PC, but when you have a device that's capable of 4K gaming at 60 hertz at 120 hertz, if you have a 4K TV with 120 hertz enabled on there, this is a wonderful experience. And if you can find the digital version, for like 399 that's good, man, because it's very hard to come by. This controller has enhanced its functionality compared to the PS4. Now, the thing is, it's already kind of perfect, and research and development just hasn't caught up enough right now to have a console that's better than the current one. So, with the sixth one just around the corner, Sony's gonna ditch the Pro in favor of 6. And folks, that's all for PlayStation 6's official release, date and details that were revealed in Sony documents.